Hi, I'm Dr. Jacob Berger. And one of my claims to fame and one of the things that I have so much fun with in my office is that I used to be a barber. I used to cut hair when I was 13 years old and a buddy of mine really needed a haircut and couldn't get to the barber shop. So he's asked me to pick up some clippers and give him a quick haircut and it turned out great. I had no idea that I had that ability, but I guess from all those different times at the barber shop, I had picked up on what a good haircut was versus a bad one. And little did I know it turned into a business. And before I knew it, I was cutting his dad's hair, his brother's hair, and then it became this hobby. It was so fun. And then in high school, I started to take a cosmetology program and a barber program. I was going to night school and balancing sports. And little did I know in that, that entrepreneurial spirit right then and there, I was building a, a brand for myself as I became a good barber in my high school and in my local community. And then we opened up a barber shop. Right when I graduated, a barber that down the road, he gave me the keys to his place and said I could have a chair for $100 a week. So I would cut hair on Tuesday, take that money and put it in an envelope. And then on Saturdays, I'd give him $100 to pay for my rent for my chair. It was cool, we had a TV playing in there, we'd watch movies, uh, on Fridays we'd have pizza, and I would interact with my clients on a whole different level than just a haircut. It wasn't just a $15 moment, it was a, a person, it was an interaction. One of the things I've been able to do is transition that barbershop feel that I had as a business person and as a, as a fun barber, is how do I utilize that in my practice as a dentist? And you don't have to be a barber to utilize these things, but I took advantage of that. So what I do is I have fun with my patients as if they were in a barbershop. I put their chair back just like you would in a barbershop setting. I ask them what they want. I let them know, hey, we're gonna get started. But I just try to utilize all those past experiences to bring that into this dental office. This, this baby of mine here is now my new barbershop. Still using my hands, I'm still having fun with it. It's on a whole different level. Um, but it's just, it's been a blast to be able to utilize that experience. One of the cool stories I have with barbering was this gentleman that came in to the barbershop with his wife and she had her wheel him in on a wheelchair. And when I got the chance to work with him, I pushed my big barber chair to the side and rolled his wheelchair up. I didn't know in that moment as I was just taking care of another human, I was just serving them, that they hadn't had that type of care before. And that, that, that chance or that inconvenience of moving stuff aside for that man would be so life-changing for his wife and for him in that moment. They talked about me to anybody in wheelchairs, anybody with special needs. Uh, I was cutting all of their hair. I was going to special needs camps. I was working at Special Olympics cutting hair. That made such a big difference for my business. I was able to start doing more haircuts quicker because I was in such of those difficult situations cutting hair and now an easy haircut was 10 times easier. And now I utilize that in barbering or in dentistry now. What I do with dentistry now is, is I go to these special needs camps. I go to do mission trips. I put myself in uncomfortable positions to serve people like I did when I was a barber. And that's really helped me both as a person, as I find something rewarding and fulfilling to do for my patients, but it also helps with the brand. And, and, and I know the business side of dentistry is important, but if there's the heart side of it and your patients see that side of you, if they see the equivalent of me moving that barber chair to the side, in my office, like when I've moved an operatory or moved a big operatory chair so a, a wheelchair could get in there, patients saw that. They made mental notes and they saw how far I went from them. That was all just from an old barbershop lesson that I was able to get. Now, there are a number of ways to really incorporate my story and, and being a barber into dentistry and everybody's job or everybody's occupation, maybe even just hobbies, can be used in your practice every day. They can be story time. It can be a way to show your patient you're just a real person and you have real things that you love to do. Or it could even be things that you took away from that, whether it be a server uh, at a restaurant or whether it be a, a practice manager or, or some type of a business person. There's always little nuggets that you can pull from previous experiences. Mine just happens to be dentistry uh, and barbering. Mine just happens to be teeth and hair, but yours may be something totally different. Utilize that and have fun with it and your patients will appreciate it.